Hey y'all, I just wanted to pop right in because I actually got two Christmas cards and I wanted to share with you before December is over. And I am just so appreciative of the Christmas cards that I received this year. I usually send out Christmas cards, but this year has been a little tough on in December, so it just didn't have time to send out cards this year, but I just wanted to like let um, these people know that I really appreciate them and I'd love to share their cards. So the first one is from Alba from Unique Life. I'm filming in my boyfriend's house, so I don't have like my normal setup. <clears throat> so she got me this really cute Christmas card. It says Merry and Bright. And I hope you don't mind that I share what's inside, but I thought it was really pretty. It says, tis the season to remember special people like you. Merry Christmas. Lauren, I hope you're having an amazing holiday season. I wish you lots of love and happiness. I appreciate your friendship, and I want you to know that your heart is beautiful. Have a great Christmas, Alba. Thank you so much. You're the sweetest person, and I'm so happy that I met you on YouTube because you have saved me so many times on different things that I did in my videos and helped me out with my Etsy. So I really appreciate it. And then she also sent me the babies, which I love this so much from Panther and Ghost. They're so cute. I wish I had, could have a kitty, but right now I just have a doggy. Eventually, I'd love to give him a little kitten, but these are her cats. So cute. Okay, and then... The other one is from Veronica from 40 Plus Life, and it's so so sweet of her to send me a Christmas card. Again, I'm not, I'm gonna struggle with one hand, and I did pre-open these because, as you can see, <laughs> this is a little difficult with one hand. I can do it. I am determined. Okay, I think we got it. Yay! And I love this little sticker. Okay, so cute little snowman. I love that there's a little puppy dog snowman. So cute. And I love cardinals in the winter, so that's so pretty. Reminds me of my dad. Alrighty, so... Oh my goodness! Oh, it looks like there's some confetti in here. Alright, so we got a tracker, a black tracker. So pretty. I love it, even with the confetti on it. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my goodness. It's a savings challenge. So 12 months of saving and then save the number of days or choose your own amount. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do with this. Thank you so much. I love this. And then it has her logo on the back. So pretty. I love that it's black and can go with anything. Oh, I love this confetti. Eee! What a cute little... Hello Kitty. I love that. And oh my gosh. I've uh I guess she noticed. I love Howl's Moving Castle. I love this. Oh my gosh. So I for Studio Ghibli movies, I am my first Studio Ghibli movie we ever seen was Spirited Away. And I was obsessed with that movie and I still am but then I found House Moving Castle and oh it's just like a very sweet romantic cute movie and I love it so much so if you haven't ever seen that movie go ahead and check it out it's worth the watch and there's other ones like Totoro I I love Totoro but I haven't seen it so I just like the character one of these days I have to actually watch the movie which is kind of funny Okay, let's read the card. Dear Lauren, we're wishing you a happy and heartwarming holiday season. Hello, cosplay, uh, fellow cosplay. I <laughs> uh, hope you're doing well and that, and that you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you again for my birthday card and the special scratch off. And have a wonderful, uh, I'm making up words. Have a happy day. Uh, hugs. Aw, Veronica, 40 plus life. I'm so happy you liked it and that it helped you out with your savings. And uh, thank you so much for this card and my savings challenge. I can't wait to use it. And that's pretty much it. We'll go, we're going to start our 
cash stuffing video i just wanted to pop in here and do like a little quick happy mail part hi welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are doing my third paycheck of december it is my magic month so i get three paychecks this december and i also have very exciting news so one of my credit cards that I signed up for this year, um, a while back, I, there was a promotion that you would get 45,000 points uh, spending, I believe it was spending 3,000 within the first three months, which I easily did with my just regular day expenses. I did not um, make any more debt on that card in order to get these points. So in in the time uh, the rest of the year i accumulated i believe 55,000 points so i decided to um help myself and i cashed out 50,000 points which is equivalent to $500 so i'm very excited because i get to use that for uh, a debt, I'm going to be making an extra debt payment with that $500. So I'm very excited. I got paid my normal amount this time, no overtime, $1404. So this is basically my breakdown here. And if you watched my last video about my cosplay budget and my convention um, show and tell kind of thing, you would have known that I said I have been overspending a lot in December. And the main reason is because in the back of my mind, I knew I was getting this third paycheck. I didn't really want that um, to happen, but the holidays, that's all I got to say, the holidays, <laughs> food, extra food and, and traveling and stuff. So I did end up um, spending $795. And this includes the con overspending, which was 289 And then I got my t all four tires changed, a lug nut put on, and my inspection. And that all came out to 576 So a lot of my extra money that I thought I would have for this third paycheck went to that. But you know what? That's okay. At least things are getting paid and getting paid down. And that is the important thing. Everything is a learning experience, and I'm not going to be hard on myself be because I overspent in this month because I have things in place to take care of my overspending. So in the new year, I'm going to be try to be better with overspending, but you know what? It is in the past, and we will learn from it and try to be better in the future. So in my cash wallet, we are stuffing 150. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then in my savings and savings challenges, we're doing 289. I want to try and finish a couple savings challenges and also um, get ahead in some before the new year starts. And then in my sinking funds, I'm not doing a lot just because I overspent a lot. So we're doing 170. And then of course my extra debt is 500. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna get set up and we'll do some cash stuffing. So. I believe in total I have 320 for my regular cash wallet and sinking funds and then the 289 for savings so that's a total of $609 that is going to be put into savings and sinking funds right now I just have my cash wallet and sinking funds money if I have enough time in this video I will definitely go and do my savings challenges so we have 57 50 100 50 70 90 210 230 240 250 265 75 85 95 300 510 11 12, 13, 14, 15. I totally counted that wrong. It's supposed to be 20. Let's try that again. So $320 is what we are stuffing into my wallet and my sinking funds today.
And I'm trying a, a new setup today. Instead of having my cash on the side, I'm going to try it in the top. And then I have $10 for prop money for my emergency funds, which I'll put over here. So, as usual, we start with my wallet. And I do have lots of receipts. So, nothing in Create, and that is going to get $50. Nothing's going in dining out and nothing is going in personal, but I do have 15 extra dollars and you'll see what I do with that later. And then my challenge envelope, I have one and two dollars and that will go to my dollar savings challenge. And that's it for my wallet. Just stuffing my create money just in case I need to get a little something for New Year's Eve coming up. So next up is my uh, high priority sinking funds. These are the ones that I usually dip into quite a bit. So for groceries, we're doing $50. Uh, normally I give it $75, but I'm going to be at my boyfriend's house for four days. So I don't think I'm going to need a lot of grocery money, hopefully. And then gas, I'm also putting $50. I do have half a tank right now, but hopefully that'll be enough for the next two weeks. The next up is Enzo, and he is going to get 25. I decided that I'm always going to give him, try to give him 25, because he always needs food and treats and everything, and I feel like I can never get ahead a um, with this envelope because sometimes I like to buy him. Uh, toys and stuff and I just don't have the funds so now in Enzo we have 20, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49 and 50 dollars I'm probably gonna have to buy him food soon and his food actually went up so I don't know if I want to keep buying that food or try something different it's also like a kind of unique brand that I can only find in one store which I don't really particularly like but we'll see what happens Next up is Vet, and that's going to get $20. And that has $20, $40, $65, $70 $60, in Vet expenses. Next up is Pet Emergency, and we have a savings challenge for that. And I'm going to be doing two $5. And then we'll just have one left. This is by 40 Plus Life. And then I think. I was mentioning in my other video, which I think I definitely do will do, each one will be, instead of 5, it'll be 10. So I'll just keep adding money like that for it. So we're done with this. And then we're going to add $10 to Pet Emergency. So now in Pet Emergency, we have 20, 40, 55, 65, 75. So $75 in pet emergency. Really? 20, 40, 55, 65, 75. Yeah. Okay. I got $75 in pet emergency. Next up is Tom, and he's going to receive $5, and that will make 10 for him. Uh, family is empty, and it's going to get 5 Car maintenance is empty, and I had $250, so I owed myself $326, and with the paycheck, I did put um, extra money towards it, but I still owe myself $57, so it's not going to get anything today. I just wasn't expecting my tires to be that expensive for some reason. Um, originally, I was trying to budget for two tires, but then we w I waited too long and I had to just get all four done. Um, so, my bad. <laughs> Holidays is going to get $5. And that's pro this is probably going to be going towards um, Valentine's Day. And next up is P.O. Box, and that is also going to receive 5 
So now it has 15. And then there's nothing in my pink envelope and that's it for my high priority. Next up is my low priority singing funds and I did end up putting my Raven uh, keychain on here. I love it so much. I got it from the convention. So we are still in winter and Christmas. So next up is health and I owed myself $22 but I took it for my paycheck so that's already gone. And I'm gonna start it off again with $5. And then gifts is not getting anything. Giving is not getting anything. Um, my envelope, I'm going to try to finish today. So let's see how much we need. So we need 30 and 32. Is that right? 30 plus 32. So that's $62. I thought it was 49. Hmm. Let's see how much we have. It's supposed to equal a total of $240. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91. So let's see, 240 minus 191. Okay, so I was correct. I must have marked off um, one too many. So I'm gonna be putting in the $49 and I'm completing this challenge. which is awesome because this is all going towards my Chase credit card. No, sorry, my Visa card. One, two, three, four. Oop. And this is my lucky $2. <laughs> So let me cross off those. So yay, this is by Abby Tries to Budget. And let's make sure we have 240. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Perfect. So $240, and that's going straight to my credit card, for sure. Awesome. And nothing in socials, cosplay, I do owe myself money, but I'm not stuffing it today. Um, business is wiped out. If you have not already checked out my Etsy shop, go ahead, it's linked down below. I do... I, I anime themed savings challenges. Right now I have Sailor Moon savings challenges and they look like this. They are each they're each after a Sailor Scout. So this is Queen Serenity, Sailor Moon, and they're all um, what they're guardians of. So if you are curious about that, go ahead and check it out in my description box and yeah if you have ordered from me already thank you so much for your support i really appreciate it but yeah it's getting skipped today ren cut is gonna get six so now we have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And this money is for giveaways. Once we reach 500, I will let you know what we're going to be doing. But we are getting close and I'm getting very excited. Next up is planner and it's going to get 15. And I should be able to cross out 11 and 13. So now in planner we have 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So $49, which is great. And this is also by Abby Tries to Budget. And this is also going towards a card payoff. So this is going to be my next focus. Now that I've completed 
my envelope. And then birthdays, last time I scratched off a number 15. And right now we are working on my brother's birthday. I decided to put tabs in here just so I can separate and make sure I am saving enough for everyone's birthday. So I finished my mom and she's got $25. And then my brother is going to get 15. And let's see. So I have 20, oops, 25 plus. So, and now in my brothers, we have 10, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. So, I'm just going to keep the 25 in his envelope, and I'm going to roll the four dollars over to me. I think I'm going to start off with $25 for each person, and then if well, I have time, I'm going to be putting extra money in each one. So, we have plus 29 so we have $54 in birthdays, and I'm going to scratch off one more here. So we are getting close to finishing this. I did make this one. It got a little messed up. Um, I made it for um, a giveaway that I had done, but I made her a different one because it messed this one up. So next one. Alrighty. So next one I will be stuffing into my envelope is a number 10. So 10 is going into my birthday's envelope next time. And that's it for my low priority savings. Next up is my long-term sinking funds. And we are going to be doing a $500 placeholder because, oops, that's a thousand. <laughs> we are going to do a $500 placeholder because I have the money already in the bank and I didn't, I didn't see the point of taking it out um, just to put it back in the bank for my extra debt payment. So we have our $500 placeholder. This is by Amethyst Budgets. And it's got Yuki Gasai, which is from Future Diary. Alrighty, so we're going to color in some of these 100 envelopes. I'm very excited because I can knock down a good chunk of the 100 envelope challenge. And this is what I'm using to put towards my extra debt payment. So we have 500. And we're just going to go down the line. So minus 96, minus 95, minus 94, minus 93, minus 91. So we have $31 and we don't have that one colored. So shoot, <laughs> I said 94. Oh my gosh. I think I said 94. So plus 94, plus 95, and plus 96. No. Oh boy, I messed this up. So this whole row is gonna be complete, yay! So I'm gonna color all this in. And then we also knocked out number 31. So perfect! I got some of those big numbers out of the way. They can get pretty scary, and this is definitely been a big challenge. And usually I make you wait until my quarterly update, but I can't wait I just want to know how much it is and I'm definitely going to be making an extra debt payment after this uh, video so I'm going to be putting this money back into the bank so let's see how much we have for our extra debt payment for the end of the year so we have the $500 from the credit card rewards 
Then we have 100 or 600, 700, 800, 820, 830, and 835. Fantastic! I'm so excited. Um, I won't lie, I am kind of bummed. I didn't really want to use my credit card rewards like that. I wanted to take a trip with the money. But honestly, I really want to get out of credit card debt so bad that I think that's why I decided, well, not I think, that is why I decided to use it towards paying off my credit card debt. So I will definitely give you an updated balance on my Visa card at the end of, uh, probably in January, honestly, is when my quarter, my last quarter update is going to be. So stay tuned for that. I'm very, very excited. Uh, hopefully this will help me get down quite a bit and hopefully I'll be paid off in the beginning of the year, that credit card. Last but not least in my sinking funds is going to be my loans, which is for my student loans. At least we have a little bit more extra time to save up for this or pay down. Right now I'm saving up money for it. So I have 500 in the bank, 10, 15, and 20. So 520 for student loans payments whenever they come back. And that's pretty much it uh, for my cash stuffing. I'm not going to be stuffing any of these. And I did uh, end up purchasing the Amelia Designs Christmas Savings. And I did scratch off already uh, one that is 60 And I wanted to do it for this paycheck. But uh, that didn't happen. But that's all right. I will save $60 in January, but I'm excited to do this little Christmas tree $500 challenge for my Christmas envelope. So that's it for this part of the video. Um, I don't think I'm going to have enough time on my memory card, unfortunately, for my savings challenges. Oh, right. I did forget about this. So this is going to go on my dollar challenge. So this will go on my savings challenge video. And this, I'm actually going to put this I'm going to put it into my planner envelope so I can get that um, card paid down too because this is going to a card as well. So yay! One step closer. So let's see what we got now. So now we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 60, 61, 62, 63, and 64 dollars awesome and then this saves up a total of two hundred and twenty five dollars when it's all finished so I'm gonna try to get that finished as soon as possible and yeah that's pretty much it for my video thank you so much for watching and I always forget I always forget my emergency fund because it's in prop money and it's behind my Christmas and I haven't been stuffing my Christmas so let's do that in my emergency fund, which I always keep in the bank, it is has 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 20, 40, and 50. So 950 in my emergency fund. So 50 away from 1,000, and my goal is to get it back to 5,000 uh, and beyond. But my basically my first goal is 1,000, and then I'll try and get to five. So pretty close to that as well. All right, that is most definitely the end of the video. This goes into my dollar challenge, and that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really supports my channel and gets my videos out there. And if you like this video and would like to share it to somebody else, I would really appreciate it. Um, even if you just tag me on Instagram, it really does help and I appreciate all your love and support and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!